Hey, what's up my little time tells? What's up Sussex squad? How are y'all doing today? Well, if you are Prince William and waiting for a personality, Katie, you are trying to do the PR shuffle so you don't look petty, so you don't look small, and so you don't look stupid to the whole world. But it's too late because like everything with William and Kate, they just can't resist. What am I talking about? Listen, as you know, Meghan Markle and Harry came and shut things down during the Queen's Jubilee. Listen, she was giving Carmen San Diego Taylor within an inch of her life world uh, realness. And Harry was given, did y'all see my wife? Did y'all, no, 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 not the cross height one. No, 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 not the one with no chin. No, 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 not the one with no personality. They got her face full of Botox. No, I'm talking about the dewy cherub one, right? Yeah, that's my girl, that's my girl. Now listen, right? Megan looks so good and so youthful. Angie was probably trying to push up on her like, hey, you know, <laughs> until she turned around. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were over 18. Anyway, let's get into this. Now, let me just start off by saying, right? Um, Listen, first of all, can we talk about how the Cambridges were so petty, right? Because there's a few things that went on that I just want to say it did not escape my attention. Little bit had her birthday yesterday. It looks like the queen was in attendance. I do hope she was Christian. Chris. Kristen? Christian? Christian. No. Christening. Christened. Kristen. There we go. You can tell last time I've been in church, right? <laughs> I'm like, ooh. Anyway, um, she was christened. Okay, fine. However, the queen actually met her for the first time on Thursday, which I'm glad they did because listen, no offense to the queen, but not tomorrow is not promised. I'm glad she actually got that out of the way. But the more interesting thing was that as you know, William and Kate were assigned to go to Wells because I guess the queen didn't want them around. And you notice every time Will and Kate are not around, there's no leaks, right? Well, Will and Kate did something so petty and so offensive. They literally took the kids with them to their engagement. Now, here's what I want to say, right? Why did you bring the kids? You literally brought the kids out to Wales to look at like a community orchestra and theater putting on a show. No shade to the community orchestra, but why were the kids there? They looked miserable. They looked miserable. So instead of letting them have a birthday party with their cousins, you decide to take them away because I guess if you guys aren't invited, the kids aren't, and you want those kids to know they're no kin to yours. Again, I know a lot of people think Camilla was the one that made a thought um, about complexion and hair, but the more I see about it and the more that, uh, what was it? Uh, William doesn't want the kids to interact. The more and more I'm starting to think that, no, it was Kate and William most likely, right? Now listen, also, we need to understand a few things. I know that Megan was walking into the church, like, yeah, just strutting it, slinging it left and right, saying this is what it looks like. And she did a great job. And Megan, I understand, she was just gloating, like, yeah, y'all thought it was over. It ain't over till I said it's over. Let me shut this place down real quick. Y'all remember what beauty looks like? Yeah, goodbye, right? But Harry grew up in that society. Harry knows those two people. Not only are they family, but he knows that society and he knows what is snubs and what isn't a snub and what it meant by William and Kate not letting their children go to that birthday party or even be around their cousins. Again, he knows what that meant. And apparently so did the whole world because the Cambridges even issued something saying William and Kate missing Lilith's first birthday was no slight intended. Of course it was a slight, but like everything William and Kate does, it's so heavy handed, they can't get into it. But you know what? Karma has a way of getting it back. And it looks like karma is in uh, the, uh, the, the physical embodiment of Lewis, their youngest child, because look at this mess. Now, listen, I'm not going to lie. Just watch this. I'm not going to lie. Um, I've dreamt of doing this plenty of times to the royal family, but look at this mess. He literally puts his hand over his mom's mouth, right? Then tries to do it again. Then she's trying to play it off like, Haha, you're so funny. And he's like, mm, right? Going in on her. I was waiting for him to smack the bus out of her. That's where it's going. Now, look at her face when she's like, you better knock it off, Buster. Here's the thing. A lot of people have been like, oh my God, he's a terror. 
and he might be to one which I said, Kate, does this child know you? Like, I always thought Kate was a hands-on mother and maybe she's a hands-on mother with George and maybe Charlotte. This one looks like you're not the nanny. I don't have to listen to you. He is literally acting like this woman is a foreign agent of chaos and she doesn't have to listen to anything he says. Seriously. Also, even though he does look like he is a handful, right? Because I remember when George was younger, he had all these nannies and tutors and this and that. It seems like with Lewis, they were like, meh, y'all hear something, right? But I do want to say this. The kid, I think the reason he's acting out is because... Also, you guys, make sure you hit or subscribe or the like button and notifications. I have follow-ups to a lot of stuff that happened during the Queen's Jubilee and also Kim Kardashian's lame denial that she wasn't begging for tickets. Y'all, it's going to be a good week. Make sure you subscribe and let me know if you're liking these royal stories because if you do, I'll put out one every single day because I can't get enough either. Okay, anyway, let's get back to the mess. Like, I thought this was the funniest thing. He tried to try that with Princess Charlotte and kicked his leg up over the side kicked his leg up on her chair she knocked it off like boy don't make me mommy won't because I, I think this is mommy I haven't seen her is this mommy this woman that's not the nanny won't but boy I'll drag you all up and down this thing you better stop playing with me look at her knock his foot off like boy if you don't stop playing then he took a sippy cup he is an agent of chaos with that sippy cup and now look at him with his cousin everybody's trying to calm him down and he looks like he knows everybody more than the woman in red sitting there that keeps calling herself mummy look at this look at this he pulled the girl's hair now listen i don't he is an agent of chaos he is so such a handful right but i will say this why is he even out the fact that history is repeating themselves itself so much the fact that literally right Literally, because you hated your brother's, in my opinion, mixed race, divorced American wife so much that you literally rushed them out and didn't even think, or maybe you did, that your kids would have to take over that. You, the same thing that William did to Megan, which is basically every time they got bad press, trade in a story of her or trade in whatever of her is now the same thing that William is doing to his kids. When they had that bad uh, press with the Caribbean, with being booed, they marched the kids out. Now that Harry and Meghan are here and they're so worried about Harry and Meghan stealing the spotlight, you bring your kids out, even your four-year-old that is not used to sitting still for that long. He's only a baby, he's four years old. He's not used to sitting alone uh, uh, still for that long. He doesn't know who you are. Like, who is this woman? She says she's mummy. Charlotte, are you sure? Where is George? Can you confirm this is mummy? And you know, the funny thing is, Kate has a new face for Botox. I think George is like, looks like mummy, but the picture is from 20 years ago. This is mummy, right? So anyway, you have a four-year-old out there with all these public events, the loudness, the lights, the actions, even adults fall asleep and get antsy. The fact that you didn't even have anybody on hand to take him off camera and go calm him down. put a, I mean, he's still in nap time. Put him down to nap, do whatever, because you guys need the spectacle of your children to take the, 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 the spotlight off of the fact that you're more glamorous, beautiful, popular and charismatic uh, uh, relatives are in town to me is sick. William literally recreated the childhood. He recreated his own childhood. The same way that Harry has so much psychological issues because he felt like he was used as a pawn or a token or trotted out as a prize pig for um, the tabloids and for the royal rota. And now you're doing it to your own kids. All because you guys can't stand the fact that you are second fiddle. Again, I don't even... Bet. Now listen, this is the event that the kids missed their cousin's uh, 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 birthday party for. Now let's look at what was actually said. No slight was intended. Prince William and Kate Middleton and other members of the royal family were all traveling on the day Lilibet was celebrating her first birthday at home. But it wasn't to avoid it. Again, nobody cares that you guys weren't there. Why weren't their cousins there? Isn't that prime thing for kids to have fun at a birthday party? Why were their cousins not there? And I know Harry and Meghan invited them. 
A source tells E.T. that the Duke, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and other members of the royal family that included Duchess Sophie and Prince Edward all traveled to different parts of the UK. That's true, the Queen sent them away. The source is adamant the events were not planned to avoid Lilith's birthday at home. It's simply a coincidence they fell on the same day. There was no there was no slight intended, right? Now they say it's easy to see why some might interpret it as much, especially since the relationship between William and Harry appeared to be quite cold. That's right. William couldn't even look at Harry. Kate snuck. But even then, I think she probably did it so somebody could feel sorry for her. Like, Harry, I miss you. Why won't you come save me, right? Anyway, let's get more into this stuff. Um, again, as far as I know, the kids were not scheduled to attend. We understand why you were sent away because the Queen's mad at you, doesn't care. You guys are the least likable, least charismatic. But why isn't the kids? Again, this is Rose Hanbury 2.0. You are trying to pull attention off a of little of his birthday. We didn't forget. I'm glad the Sussex kept it private. I can't wait to see the pictures. But that was just really, really weird. I also want to say this loud last thing, right? Before we go into this analysis of the video. I understand why they didn't go. Because they were trying to snub. They were trying to pull rank. They were trying to play that nobody likes you game, right? Right? But this is why Will and Kate, in my mind, will always miss the mark. Because who cares if you guys weren't there? The queen was there. You cannot snub someone where the person that is the boss, the head boss, likes them. And this is how they fell short with the Rose Hanbury. You tried to snub Rose Hanbury and you wanted her cut out of circles because you thought you were running stuff until Rose Hanbury had to wake you up and be like, baby, like we are part of ceremonial. You can't cut us out. Only the queen can cut us out. And the queen's not doing anything. But anyway, again, I don't even understand how they thought they were going to snub anybody when the queen's coming. Who cares? It was cold. You didn't let the cousins go. But again, that was more their loss than anything else. I mean, um, I was about to say Rose and William, but Kate and William. Also to the fact of, right? That's why they missed the mark. This is what's going on. William and Kate act like they don't know each other. The kids, they act like they don't know her. I actually don't even know what's going on. But let's look at how miserable these kids looked at what they were doing. Look at this. Kate fixed her smile. She's no longer having a right? She has a new face. You know, every time Megan comes around, she has to Botox herself to that. Gods, all Kate can do is so. Even though this round of Botox looks way, way better than the other because you look at Kate George is like I just wanted cake and ice cream I mean like, look at these kids how scared they look look how nervous they look look at the way they're just like don't even know what to do and Kate's trying to give them this was actually last minute you didn't even coach these look look at this this is how we feel every time we see that this is how William is look at George's face that's William's face every single time he has to stand next to Kate like father like son look at Charlotte it's just like what in the world are these mortals doing let's move on let's move on but listen George is making the same face that um his dad makes whenever his mom leans in for a kiss or tries to hold his hand Ugh, right look how miserable these kids look it is ridiculous it is ridiculous. I can't believe Will and Kate did something so petty. I just, I just the, the level of pettiness right now, and I see it boggles my mind. And we see what you're doing. You know what, you guys? I have a bunch of other videos to make. Make sure you stay tuned because I do have a follow up to the Kim Kardashian debacle and her denial to the Daily Mail. And also, we are going to talk a little bit's birthday tomorrow. So make sure you turn on your likes, subscribe, notifications, because you know your girl got you. All right, Sussex Squad, I will talk to you later. Bye.